Yo, what up? Welcome back to the Halathon. This is a stretch of games that I feel like are going to be the most fun starting today. Woo, excuse me. Oh, <coughs> God damn it. So today, we're playing Left 4 Dead. The first game on the Xbox 360. Now, if you're wondering, this game's backwards compatible on Xbox One. Why didn't you play it there? One, there could be many problems with that, as we saw with Red Dead Redemption on Dead Nightmare at the start of the Halathon. And two, uh, well, Figured might as well just play this, the only version I have, actually. I don't have the PC version or the... I mean, I can play it on Xbox One, but as I just said, there may or may not be problems doing that. So we're going to play a little bit of this. I don't know if we'll be able to do... I'm going to try to go for... Get out of that fucking Xbox, you fucking shitty thing. Alright. So I had to replace that game with this game. So uh, we may be trying... We're going to try to do all campaigns... Uh, well, not all campaigns. There's a couple of DLC ones I'll be skipping just to save a little bit of time, but we'll try to do all the base game campaigns. Which means we have to do No Mercy, Death Toll, or Dead Toll, Death Toll, yeah, Dead Air, and Blood Harvest. So we'll see how that goes. I will show the intro because it's a pretty cool intro and it kind of gives us that spooky halathon feel that we all want to see. So yeah, hopefully the audio is okay. We'll see how the audio is. Looks pretty good, at least for this intro. See, I'll mute my thing so you can hear it a little bit better. Hold up. Ain't seen anything like this before. Jesus, don't let that stop you from smearing it all over yourself. They're changing. God damn it, Bill. Oh, it stinks! <laughs> Someone's still alive. Over there. Probably the spookiest part of the whole.
believe we made it. Son, we just crossed the street. Let's not throw a party till we're out of the city. And there you go. That begins Left 4 Dead. <clears throat> I don't know if I PVR have any lag problems throughout this. Let's hope it doesn't, but it very well could. It might have had some during that fucking intro, and I didn't see them, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's decent. Um, yeah. So you all I got to say about that. Uh, when we go in here, I might change the audio a little bit just in case it's a little too loud as my headphones for 360 are really fucked up. I've probably made that statement plenty of times throughout live streams and all that, but they are really bad. You have to find like a sweet spot to actually have decent audio, and even then, that's kind of pushing it. So we're going to play single player. Uh, do, we're going to do normal mode because I'm... I feel like... Uh, Advance is gonna kick my ass a little bit too much, and Expert obviously will kick my ass the most. Especially since I'm playing by myself. Uh, no Mercy, we'll do a random character. And it's going to be Zoe. Alright, cool. Made for consistency's sake, I'll play as Zoe for the whole time. Now I will say, my sister said she might tune in or come in a little bit later. We can do some co-op. So we'll see if she actually does. But I don't know if that'll happen for sure. Load times are a little bit faster than I remember. Well, then again, it might not actually load. Never to load bar. F oh, actually, it will. Uh, I'll raise it a little bit on the program. And I'll turn up my headphones a little bit, maybe. Uh, I'll probably want to take shotgun. Give me that. I haven't played this game in so long, but I used to be really good, so I'm sure my effect, my skill will still carry over. Who said I was, used to be good? I'm still with me popping heads. Yeah, really more of an action game here than a horror game, but there are some horror elements. It can be spooky sometimes. I'm going to take that for sure. So I might lower the sensitivity a little bit because it's really jacked up. Let's do that really quick. Uh... Yeah, that horizontal sensitivity is a little bit weirder. And these batteries, okay, never mind. I think the batteries might have been fucked up a little bit. I'll just let you guys deal with that. Uh, easy mode does not have friendly fire, but I will say normal mode does. It's not as bad as it would be on, like, Expert. Expert's, like, the worst with the friendly fire shit, but... Yeah, there's friendly fire in this game, just as a heads up. The bots cannot do it to you, but you can do it to the bots. Obviously, if you, the bots could... Oh, shit. Alright. Special infected, yeah, just fucking kill them as soon as you see them, or else they'll cause more problems for you than you want. They're basically zombies that are different from everything. They're the special snowflakes of the zombie virus or whatever, and yeah. Sorry if my fan for my Xbox 360 is a little loud. I tried to set the settings to where they would do that. I mean, they kind of cancel it out when you start shooting, and we're going to be shooting a lot in this game, but yeah. Also, I might lean in a little closer just so the mic, just for sure, the mic won't over, or the game won't overpower me. That can happen, and I don't like that, so I'm gonna try to talk as loud as I can, as consistently as I can, <coughs> and as close as I can. I think I saw a goddamn hunter. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah. So, on, I guess, I don't know if the AI, be oh shit, that was awesome. I don't know if the AI behaved the same on every difficulty for the special infected, but on, if they don't, if, <coughs> if they don't, normal mode, they're pretty easy to fake out. 
And again, everything in this game is easy to fake out once you know how they work. Like, the hunters will always stay crouched when they're, like, around a corner, and then they'll pounce on you. So if you can, like, peek them or something, that'd be good. Yeah, those smokers are the most annoying. They'll separate you from your team and just cause a bunch of problems. They can be a hassle to spot, because they like to hang out up top on roofs and stuff, and then it can be a little hard. Shit, I got protected. Nice. You'll never... Pistols will never run out of ammo, so you'll want to grab this extra pistol. Basically, this means more free bullets you can waste. Whoops. Oh, damn it! I want to do no damage. Fuck off. That gay shit. It's because that stupid smoker popped out and I needed to duck into cover. So I had to go in too fast. I didn't get to see like anything else in the room. That's bullshit! What the rate this is going, I don't know if we'll actually do this, uh... If we'll be able to do the whole all the campaigns. They're all basically the same. They kind of tell a story, but at the same time, they really don't. It's not like you absolutely need to play them all. Poor Lewis, he's been getting harassed all day by you smokers, I tell you. Oh, uh, I tried to kill him. Well, I mean, shoving enemies don't hurt them, and it hurts a little bit, I guess, but not a significant amount. Don't shoot the alarm cars. They'll attract zombies, and it's just not a fun time in general. Actually, no, I don't want to do it because the bots might get stuck behind, and then the zombies will eat them, and that won't be fun. There you go. Oh, I don't have the music on? That's bullshit. Let me turn that on right quick. Okay, well, the music's not going to play now, but there's some pretty snazzy music that plays when you finish a level. I'm surprised I didn't have that turned on. Wow. Shows you how prepared I am. I'm a fraud. <clears throat> okay. And we're back. So you have some pretty nice ambience and stuff. Like the, all the special effects did have their own uh, like music, <coughs> musical themes, which is pretty cool. I do not want to get hit through the save room bars. That'd be frustrating. I'm gonna put the mic a little bit closer to me again because you know I'm not about to have that shit happen where my voice is drowned out by shit. Happened a lot in the last Halathon, or Halloweenthon as it was called back then. So I don't want it to happen again. Last Halloween, or I guess, I'm gonna call it Halloweenthon because that's what it was called. But during that, I actually played Left 4 Dead 2. So now I'm gonna play. This is kind of like the other reason I'm only playing Left 4 Dead 1. I would play Left 4 Dead 2 because it's infinitely better. But I'm not saying this is a bad game, this is a great game, but Left 4 Dead 2 just improves so much. But, uh,. I I played it last Halloween thon, so it'd be I feel like it'd be a little redundant. It's not like many people watched the last Halloween thon, but just for those that did, and myself, it'd be a bit redundant, so I figured I'd just play the first game. Have a little bit of diversity going on here. I'm saving these Molotovs because uh, a certain special effect will be very vulnerable. Boomers are terrible. Do not ever let a boomer touch you. They're just they're probably the most annoying, even though they're also the weakest. I mean they're weak they're weak in terms of the attacks they can do themselves. That's not good. I'm gonna have to go around and save Bill. Okay, or Francisca save him and now all the zombies are on me. 
So you see how I'm mainly using my pistols, except for like areas where there's a lot of zombies to worry about. But yeah, you'll usually just want to use pistols, it saves ammo and stuff. Although you do find a lot in this game to the point where you probably could get away with... Uh... Oh, fuck. I didn't want to... Oh, that's not good. Oh, well, Bill Hardy has pills. Okay, well, shit. <laughs> that was a little bit of a waste. Alright, well, let's go along anyway. Yeah, at this rate, we might not be able to do all the campaigns if I keep playing this slow. But that's okay. That's not really what I was aiming for anyway during the Halathon. I'm not trying to finish all these games. Uh, second Source game we played. There's a witch. Nice. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, so the witch will do that. Which is never a good thing to have around. Because if you startle that witch, you're in you know, for a world of hurt. So, for love of everything, just don't do it. If you can't help it. Yeah. The AI are prone to doing that, especially when there's other zombies in the way. They'll, they might accidentally shoot the witch. So yeah, that's that's a bad thing. A bad thing to happen. <gasps> Excuse me. Alright, let's just go. There's another boomer. Oh god, thank Christ you didn't shoot that boomer like a second later, or earlier, shit. Alright, auto shotgun's the best weapon in the game, do not let anyone tell you otherwise. Obviously that's not true, depending on your situation you'll want a different weapon. And if you're in a group dynamic, if you're in like a group dynamic thing, then you'll want to have different weapons and stuff, but auto shotgun is generally best solo because it's it does the most damage. Obviously what it lacks in... What it, for what it lacks in, uh, or what it does in damage, it lacks in range. It has very bad range. Because obviously it's a shotgun. Let's see if I can go run up on this smoker. Yeah, sweet. Oh shit, so this is bad. Getting surrounded by zombies is not a good thing. That's why when you're there's a bunch of zombies coming and you have nowhere else to go, go to a corner. Like what I kind of just did. Because then that way, uh... Zombies generally won't be a problem. You can just shove them away if they get close and stuff. There should be pipe bombs and stuff. I don't know why there's not. Usually there's pipe bombs. And other sort of commodities there. You can actually duck under this way earlier than you're intended to if you would want to do that. Which I'm actually going to try that now. I'll cover my teammates, because although the bots are kind of useless, they're also not, because most of the affected, especially with like in this game, if you haven't, if you couldn't tell, they're kind of like, they render you helpless. Someone else has to save you, so for that reason alone, it's good to have bots so they can save you from situations, and it's not like an instant death, basically. If you, uh, get hit by a special, or get, uh, uh, bleh, if you get sort of, uh, attacked by one, so yeah. They give you more weapons up here if you want to switch. Uh, there's a nice speedrunning trick here. If you want to save some time, uh, you can just drop out the, and go on those garbage bags. But because there might be some special zombies here, I will not do that. Also, yeah, because like I'm playing with all AI, and if there's like a tank out there, I could get my ass kicked. There is a tank. The lack of music is really making me mad. Okay, yeah, so tanks hit you for a long distance. What is wrong with the music? Why isn't the music not playing? What the fuck? Damn it!
damn it, dude. I have to keep fucking adjusting the music or get my ass kicked by a tank. Oh, the music is kind of playing. Alright, yeah, the, the cars, yeah. Okay, so the cars can instantly incapacitate someone. So you never want to get hit by a car like that. Okay, tank's dead. Uh, someone needs to get fucking... Francis and Bill, holy shit. Lewis, do your fucking job, idiot! <laughs> okay, this is not good. Everyone is in, like, having to heal and shit. And you can run out of first aid kits. You know, you can't really... I mean, you can run out, and usually that can be a problem. Okay. I'll be sure to take one for me, because I'm the most special person here. Yes! Great! I took 60 damage during that whole level, that was pretty good, I guess. <clears throat> Actually, that's not really good, but I guess it means I got top place in least damage, which is good. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, alright. I wanna go for a no damage uh, run on one of these levels at least, but that's really hard, actually. Especially on some of the levels like these where there's a bunch of like kind of random events. By the way, I used right bumper to uh, quick turn. It's kind of useful. There's zombies behind you and all that assorted stuff. See, there's a zombie behind me there. Oh, fuck, there's a zombie right there, too. Oh, he almost hit me. He just drank the pills. What an idiot. What can you do, though? Oh my god. Asshole. Alright, he's dead. Actually, the reason I wanted to play some 360 is because I'm already doing my tomorrow's game. Oh, I should buy away one of my most like hype games for the whole thing. Actually, there's another game. The, ne the game on Saturday might be my most hyped, but Friday's has also really been hyped. Uh, that's also going to be on 360. So I figured why not just go ahead and do this on 362, it's a, a deal. Deal right there. The only thing that sucks is I want to finish tomorrow's game, but it might take me a long time, and I I might have to get some early sleep tomorrow. But I mean, I can I can forgo a little bit of sleep, as long as it means I can play some of good old Resident Evil 4. Oh shit. Oh, there's a witch. I couldn't hear it. I feel like it's my audio solo. But. Oh yeah, for witches, if you couldn't tell from the intro, uh, don't shine your light on a witch. That'll be bad. God damn it. Fuck zombies. You know, I'm so mad. I'm just gonna shoot this fucking gas station. There was a tank? <laughs> oh my god. If only I would have known that, I would have killed him with the fucking gas station, dude. Alright, Molotov, that should hit him. Good. Yeah, always set tanks on fire. They take damage a little bit. F they, I believe they take a bit more damage that way. 
Yeah, with that auto shotgun, that guy was fucked. Especially since I'm on normal mode and it's a little bit easier, I believe. They have a little bit less health. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but... Is that witch dead? Did I kill the witch in the... Who the fuck knows? I might have killed the witch in the gas station explosion. That would have been fucking hilarious if I actually did. Uh, I don't see a body, but then again, it might have been, like, right on the gas station, for all we know. Uh, you can actually access this room up here, too, with the gas station. Oh, I, I'm sure you can do it anyway, if you, like, crouch jump on those, but if you don't want to do that, you can just easily go up here. And there's a shit ton of pills, guys. Let me drop some pills down your way. We ain't ready. I gotta give you guys some pills, bro. Oh shit, they're gonna steal the other pills, aren't they? Well, actually, they're gonna get that one, I'll get that one. Yeah. Alright, so. Uh, I'm gonna wait till they all get on this, because if someone gets left behind, they have to wait for the ladder to come down from this, and that's just annoying. No one wants to do that. We better be ready. So I'm activating it. Go. Ah, uh, which is still alive. Damn it! I was, hope I was really hoping it died in a fucking explosion. That would have been hilarious. It's never happened to me before. I played this campaign over like a hundred times and that has never happened to me before. That would be awesome. Well maybe once. Now that you mention it, or now that I mention it, I guess, excuse me, maybe like once it's happened. I might have to ask Caroline about it because I've played this probably the most with Caroline. Oh shit, that's not good. I hope someone gets him. Okay good, someone got him. Okay good. No one got hit by a boomer. That's good. <laughs> by the boomer, I guess. There might be a trick I can show you guys on like how to easily kill a witch. It's a little precise, but it's also really satisfying, so we'll see if I can hit it. If it assuming it's in our way. If it's not in our way, I won't care. Damn it, sorry. Shit, it's in our way. Fuck yeah! <laughs> got it. Alright, so that has been called... That has been coined as crowning the witch. And what you need to do is, like, before it gets startled, aim for, like, the back of its neck. That's the best place I can describe as how to aim for it. And, uh, once you do that, well, basically just take the shot. You have to have a shotgun. You can't use any other weapon. But if you aim it right, it should die in one shot. And maybe two. It's kind of like a critical hit point near that area, so even if you miss, you can just kind of spam. And with a little bit of luck you'll be able to kill it. So it's a really good trick for killing witches if you absolutely need to. Another good trick is just set it on fire and then get away. If you have room, try to back away from it while shooting at it. It'll die pretty fast. They don't have too much health with what they make up. F they, what they lack in health, they make up for in damage. In fact, in, uh, on expert mode, they'll kill you in one hit. So watch out for that. Or realism if you're playing on uh, uh, Look for Dead 2. It's pretty brutal. Stream on Expert is like almost impossible solo. It is possible, but barely. Like you almost have to be playing with all four human players, at least casually, if you want to do it. Ah, oh, fuck you, asshole. I've been really hurt by any special infected like uh like directly like they haven't grabbed me or pinned me or anything which is good that means i'm doing decent at avoiding special infected i check make sure we're getting sandwiched 
Yeah, I'm really bad at not shooting my teammates. In Left 4 Dead, with bots especially, I'm always, even with real people, I'm prone to accidentally shooting everyone. <laughs> it's my bad, but it happens. Oh fuck, okay. That's another good thing about the shotgun, you can like have panic reactions like that and still like always get the kill. I don't even have to crouch here, I'm stupid. You could say that again with a crock of shit. Um hoping there's not another tank. There could be another tank. Like right up here and that would not be good. We'll see pray bless RNG. Okay. Nothing up here actually. Smoker. Okay, good. Literally, like, not, not even a, like a hectic event going on over here. Looks like it might just be a free ride to the hospital. There might be a boomer in the safe room, though. Is there? No. I don't believe, in fact, they can even go in the safe room. Well, maybe they can. I don't remember. And was that a first try, idiot? First try, idiot! Let's go. That was really- that's like the best- Usually at the hospital entrance, I always have to deal with a tank or a witch or something. Or like a big horde of zombies, but this time it was just like a clean walk to the hospital, which is really cool. We have all 1,035 damage. Let's go, boys. We don't suck. <laughs> Seven damage, that's how fucking like godlike I am. Then again I am on fucking what you wanna call it. I am on normal mode, but still. In fact I'm not really taking that much damage. It's still pretty good. If you take your time with this game, you can run through it rather easily. Alright, the fact that there's still zombies out there makes me mad. Oh, fuck you. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that was an early tank. Oh, okay, good, we got him. But we're gonna have to back away, guy. You fucking idiot, Lewis! <laughs> Why would you close the door on me? I was about to. Oh shit, Bill. Bill's training this. T oh my god, that was really bad. What just happened? That was almost. I, 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 I incapacitated Bill, guys. The tank didn't even have to do anything. And I got. I guess got, 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 got by a smoker for a second there. That was bad. Alright, you know what, we'll fucking heal him ourselves. Get over here, slut! Let's go ahead and heal him now, even though he did take the pills. Because we're about to do some kind of intense, heated stuff. And I don't want to accidentally, like... Uh, fucking... You know, I don't want to accidentally, like, not heal him and then have him go down in the middle of battle. Because that would not be good. But that will mean I will be searching for a health kit. We don't have any health kits? Are you sure about that? Well, damn, that's not good. That's really not good, though. I have to play extra careful. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, see, I, I smacked him to death. That usually doesn't happen. Usually you have to finish off with, like, actual shooting. That was pure luck, my friends. Reloading. 
what the fuck happened here? I love fucking source game things like that. Like, only in source games would the fucking zombie clip into the door. Oh, shit. Uh, horde coming? Horde coming. You can hear those chords and you know... Or those notes, I guess, not chords. What am I fucking a guitarist? You hear those notes and you know a fucking zombie horde is on its way. The question is, where are they coming from? Okay. Uh, damn, dude. There's like no fucking first aid kits. They are like the rarest type of thing that supplies to find, but still. I believe they're even rarer on like expert mode and stuff. Expert might make items rare, but I don't remember. Maybe I'm wrong. Thankfully, since usually there's not two tanks in the same map, there there can be exceptions, but generally you won't have to deal with that. God, everything's fucking up Lewis today. That's really weird. It's like the AI just randomly chooses like a a bot to fuck up, in like on a certain day. It's like okay, today we're going to do Lewis. Like it just fucking destroys him. That's kind of fucked up. There's a molly. Alright, nothing else. We'll just... We're gonna have to hold out right here. Uh, until the elevator comes here. There's a lot of events like this where you have to wait. Like earlier we had the freaking other thing. That smoker song didn't even reach over here, but... Like earlier we had to deal with the door raising up. Last level was kind of the lift. It wasn't... Well, we had to wait for the lift. We get on the lift beforehand. Now let's go ahead and like hold out the main line, front lines here. The crouching it improves your aim a little bit since it's a source game and all. But I do believe on uh, or I don't believe it. I know for a fact when you're playing with other people, uh, when you're like on higher difficulties, you want to have better like strategies for positioning. Uh, you can have someone standing up behind you shooting, and then someone can be crouching in front so you don't shoot the guy in front. It's usually a good strategy. Come on. Alright, sweet. Oops, sorry. So this game still looks pretty good. Left 4 Dead 2 looks really even better, but obviously, but this game was pretty good for its time. Graphics are enjoyable anyway. Also, if you can tell from voice actresses, Zoe's voice actress is indeed um, Cortana from Halo. The good stuff. Having a tank up here is the worst because if you get hit off this roof even like slightly, you're going to fall and die. And it's not a very fun death, so don't let it happen to you please. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, that was close. Dipshit. Smokers, if they're tricky, they can actually hook you off too. Or pull you off, I guess. Holy shit, that's like three kills back to back. By me. I am the real deal. Oh no, there's a witch. Oh, that's even worse. Well, if I can crown it, it shouldn't be a problem. That's if, and only if.
Uh, shit. Okay, good. It's not in our way at all. Whoa, what the fuck? Since when? Okay, there's a hunter in the fucking safe room. I had no idea. <laughs> like, damn, I just heard it in the safe room and it just pounced on me, like, for a split second, but still. Shit. Oh, shit, alright. Almost an hour in, we have. I'll, I might have time for two campaigns. I took four damage, awesome. I might do two campaigns, because I don't want to end it in the middle of a campaign. I feel like that'd just be unsatisfying. Unsatisfying. So we'll see how fast the others are. Oh, do not, do not even. You don't need to heal. Oh my god. I wonder why all the health packs are being used. Because that dipshit thinks he needs to heal. But you don't. You're in green health. Turn on flashlight. So this is the finale level. The finales are like pretty much always the same thing. Different different premises, but well they're same premise but like different uh, executions, if you wanna say. So like this one I mean it's always you're getting in a rescue vehicle and you have to survive like two waves with a tank at the end of each wave. Uh, of zombies. And it'll make more sense whenever you see it in action. But yeah, um, we'll be, we'll be seeing that you have to, oh god. It's a little annoying, but once you have some strategies dealt, or set, set up, you can, uh, easily finish these every time. It's a bit easier with human partners, everything in this game is easier with human partners, especially finales. Because they really rely on how well you can hold out the position they give you. They give you a lot of tools that you need to hold out pretty well. That was close. And, uh, yeah. So if you can, if you have human partners, it's a little bit easier to do that. I haven't actually played through a campaign in this game with all four people I have, but it wasn't like really a serious run. So I'd like to try it with like a serious run through the game with everyone. We actually got it on video too, but I'm not gonna upload it because it was such a bad thing. It just wasn't like a good playthrough of the game for lack of a better term. I'm gonna take a chance. Going by yourself in this game is a very dumb thing to do and is never usually advised. So yeah, you're calling the chopper pilot here. Yeah, mounted gunner supplies. Left 4 Dead 2, for some reason, this wall is removed from this. So you have to you have to give like the f initial call, then the confirmation. So I'm mainly going to be using that machine gun right there. Hopefully my AI partners will help me out a little bit. So yeah, ETA doesn't really matter. Basically all you need to know is that you absolutely need to... What the fuck is going on up there with Francis? Okay, that's not good. Hopefully he teleports over here or some shit. Uh, so we can actually use a couple pipe bombs. Well, that depends on how generous they are. Did they give me both or just one? They look like they gave me just one. That ain't good. Also, the fact that Francis is stuck up there is not good either. We need everyone. Everyone contributes here. We can't just have three people. Had an incident, that's important if you're following the story. Or if you're playing the freaking DLC shit. He's legit stuck up there. I can't believe it. Wow, that's insane. I've never seen any AI get stuck up there like that. Okay, he's teleport over here now, that's good. I wonder if they'll be using all of our fucking first aid kits that are down here. Reloading. 
Where's that boomer? We haven't been hit by like any boomers so far. I want to keep it that way, unless someone has secretly been hit. Finding that boomer will be great. Oh, what a fucking crack shot I am. There's a boomer just hanging out over there. Oh my god! I can't believe it. Francis got punted off. See, that's what's going to happen with a tank. Okay, that's not good. And I have no idea where this tank is. To tell you the truth. Where the fuck is he? Is he coming around? I don't know. Okay, the... <laughs> um... Uh, what? Excuse me? Like, what the fuck just happened? The tank just died. Did the tank not reach us in time? So I believe maybe there's a chance that if a tank doesn't, like, hit anyone in a certain amount of time, then it will just automatically die. So maybe that's what happened? I have no idea, though. That's really weird. Zombies suck up there. There's so many fucking issues today. Nah, it's not good. It's actually the one thing I didn't want to happen throughout this whole thing, and it happened. If you get hit by a boomer, best thing I can say is just sort of stay in a corner. This is a bad corner because there's a thing above me. But yeah, just stay in a corner because zombies, all zombies would be attracted to the person that's getting strangled. Or not strangled, but sorry, the smoker thing was happening. But uh, whoever's getting, uh, whoever had boomer bio on them. So for that reason, you'll want to not. Uh, you'll want to try to stay in a corner where you can just shove zombies away and shoot them as they come funneling towards you. Good news for Francis dying is we have one less person to worry about stealing medkits. Also, I keep getting hit by zombies. It's fucking annoying at this point just to die already. Where's that smoker? I'm not feeling like dying today. Awesome. Okay, one more tank and then we're out of here, hopefully. The last part can be a little bit RNG, but we'll see how it goes. Or this tank will die. Just gonna stay right here. Shit, back away. Is he gonna climb up here, maybe? That was fucking close. I don't know if anyone saw how fucking close that was, but that was really fucking close. <laughs> oh, Lewis. Oh, shit. That smoker could have got me good. Uh, Molotov would have been great. Oh shit, rescue. Once I jumped too early and I like went through the helicopter and I just fell, that was a sad day. Alright, well that's campaign number one. No mercy taken care of. Can I get a... Oh yeah. At the end, they'll always say in memory of and whoever died. Nice little credits thing here at the end of every campaign. I want to see my stats. It shows you all your stats. It took 39 in game minutes, I believe. 39 in game minutes to finish that. Only one death throughout the whole thing and only four incapacitations. Eight health kits used, first aid kits, I should say. Ten pain pills used, no pipe bombs. That's surprising. I used five Molotovs. We killed a bunch of hunters. <laughs> even more smokers and obviously more common infected. I took only 114. Oh wow, that's cool. 
I had 13 friendly fire incidents. We only disturbed one witch, which is cool. Uh, I revived three teammates. Protected 15. I healed one. 34% accuracy. I usually suck at that anyway. Only 7% headshots. And a total of 1,284 zombies harmed in the making of the film. It doesn't normally stop there. Obviously, I clicked A so we could get to, we'll move on here. So I might have time for one more campaign. Because I obviously have my two hour time limit. And I would maybe play them all tonight. But uh, I want to have a little bit of time to do other stuff before I have to go to sleep. Because school tomorrow and shit. Which sucks. But that's how the cookie unfortunately has to crumble. So we'll be doing... Uh, I, Crash Course normally goes next. Because it happens after No Mercy. But we're not doing DLC. So we're going to go straight to Death Toll. Another fun campaign. It's it's decently fun. <laughs> Excuse me. Hell came to Earth. These four are gonna send it back. I love all the little taglines. It's like movies is like the thing it's going for, obviously, and it's really cool actually. I kind of enjoy it. A little gimmick it has, the game, I mean. See the other two campaigns aren't I'd say these are probably the two best campaigns in the game, No Mercy and Death, Death Toll. Uh, Blood Harvest is alright, but it kind of is a little annoying, and same thing with Dead Air. So I'd say probably we're playing the two best campaigns, which is good, because I'm not going to be able to play all of them anyway. Maybe at some point I'll do a random ass let's play of this game. Although I don't really need to let's play. I mean, I could let's play these games, obviously, but it'd, it'd be a little boring for me. Maybe just like a random stream where I play them all in like the same stream. That could happen. Although I probably wouldn't do it unless I was doing it with at least one other person. Because this game, playing solo, is kind of not fun. speedrun trick on this level, if you do a precise jump, you can actually jump right over there. You take a little damage, but you do save a bunch of time, but it, it, there's also the risk of dying, so, uh, yeah. That was close. I couldn't really see the smoker, that's the problem. Shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, to be at this beginning of this campaign is kind of dull for me. Once again, it's our campaign, I played a shit ton of times. So obviously, it'll get a little boring for me after a while. Or after playing it a lot. That's exactly the same thing I just said. But I didn't actually take damage so far from the smoker, which is good. Still running a deathless, or not deathless, a damageless run. Until this hunter fucks it up. No, but the zombie will. Oh, yeah, it's fucking 30 zombies. It's my fucking AI partners. What the fuck are they doing? Are you fucking serious? That could have been an easy no de damage fucking playthrough of the level. But then these assholes have to come along and fuck it up. Jesus Christ, it's so annoying. They weren't even coming, they still can't get up here. What the fuck, now you can't? Oh my god, I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed Left 4 Dead. Uh, I'll play another sometime out, fuck I know. I don't even know what I was saying there. Uh, oh, where the hell did you find that? Boy! I was actually get a lot of zombies there. That's good. I get as many. I'll take advantage of that and I'll get moving straight along. Fuck you. That was close. 
I'd be probably playing a lot better if I was on PC. PC obviously controls way better. That should not come as a surprise. What? Okay, that's not good. Good. That's good. <laughs> There's actually a bunch of. We'll try to look for some stuff down here. You can get a lot of good stuff if you search around, like pills. Pills, if you haven't seen, are just a temporary heal. They're good. Also, if you can tell, AI cannot use uh, throwable items, so don't even try. Unless there's like a PC mod or something that lets them do it. I'll say in this game the special effects look a lot less crude. Like in Left 4 Dead 2 they look a lot more gruesome. Left 4 Dead 2 is probably the scarier in the game since there's just a lot more going for it. Oh he got boomed on. Watch out. So I want to kill that boomer? Fuck it. I had to do it to him. Does mean we'll have to sit around a lot while these special or these infected come in. By droves, might I add. Okay, so safe house up here. Damn it, I could have been a no damage run if that one fucking part didn't get me. They already had to use healing? What the fuck? What happened with these AI, dude? They're always using healing items and shit. Well, we should be kicking ass, but these fuckers are using all these fucking healing items. <laughs> Hunting rifle rounds can pierce almost anything. That's something to keep in mind. Some of these campaigns are a little bit shorter than others. I believe Dead Air. Uh, Dead Air is Dead Air four levels or five? The 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 general the general number is five. Ah, sorry, but occasionally there's a four level one. I'll remember. I'm pretty sure this one's five levels. This one's five levels. Yeah, it's definitely five levels. be getting new weapons soon so I'll just sort of waste uh fuck I'll just sort of waste uh shotgun rounds maybe not waste because there's a boomer somewhere nearby <laughs> wussy oh my what the fuck happened Wait, what? Okay, so I got like instantly hit by the hunter and the boomer and all that shit. Damn, what the hell happened with that hunter though? Like, it automatically got off of me. That was weird. Okay, that was not good. No one has a fucking health pack, that's really weird. Please. Okay. So far, so good in terms of the bad special infected. Well, they're all bad, but some of them are worse. Okay, I'll definitely want to uh, use this. I'll, I'll try to use both of these. I just pick up the Molotov again. That was a bad time to throw that. That's not gonna get anyone. What's well, gonna get a few? 
Not as many as I wanted to get, exactly. This is a better time to throw it on. Okay. See, so using using all the things you have at your disposal can be good. Oh my god! Freaking frog looking ass! Okay! Oh god. There's a witch. A witch bitch. Ah, it was close. Okay, that witch. That witch is really scaring me. I'm not sure where she is. She might be outside, and that's not a good thing. Bless RNG, that's all we can do right now. Thank you, Francis. That was such a clutch shot from Francis. Oh, fuck you. He, used to, he didn't want to, like, pounce me, he just used his fucking normal attack. So much of an asshole he is. That's not good. Let's go. Never mind. But yeah, I won't make it. I'm not gonna make it either, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Wow. <sighs> Fuck, okay. Yeah, that tank came out of fucking- well, I could've dealt with that way better, but I didn't, and that was my ultimate downfall. If I could've squeezed- if I knew where the window was, I could've just squeezed through the window, and I would've had a field day outside, but... Because I didn't, that was kind of a problem. Because I didn't squeeze through the window. Yeah, it took the most damage. Over some fucking gay baby shit. This level is my least favorite, probably, in this whole campaign. The church. Well, it's, just, it's a tie between this and level 4. Both of those are really bad. <laughs> not like bad levels, just not fun levels. Like, they can easily kick your ass. And the main problem with this part is it's wide open as fuck. There's just like so much shit to check. I mean, I guess it's only for people that really want to check. Well, just for time's sake, we'll probably just we'll probably just check this side room over here. If there's nothing, we'll keep going. So I do want to end after this campaign, so we'll just call it at that. Although now I'm really tempted to check the watchtower. And you know what? We might just do it. It's padding, ladies and gentlemen. We're padding. That's not good. I'm about to get boomed on. No, I'm not. Oh my god. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my. Did he just get fucking punted off? That's what I'm talking about, boys. Alright, there's nothing up here, really. That was kind of worthless. Can we just break the freaking railings? We can, dude. It's lit. Another witch. Are you fucking. Fucking, are you kidding me? Where the fuck is he? Or she, whatever it is. Damn it. That ain't good. I wanna see if. Can I maybe. I can't really crouch jump. Not on here. Damn it, I could I feel like I can make it up there with a good crouch jump. Why well, the play this a little bit dangerously? Got her. Awesome, two for two on the crowning. Let's go, champ. That's pretty good, actually. I'm a little bit I mean, I've gotten better since I've played the game so damn much. I've definitely honed my skills at crowning, but it's definitely not the easiest practice. Take it from me. It's it's got me wrecked more times than I care to admit. It's only one step fucking pills and take that. That was close. Oh shit. Does one get those pills? I guess builded. Let's just assume builded and let's just keep going. Can we not just run, guys? That's close. Okay. Gonna hold out in here for a second while everyone maybe comes in here and picks up some pills. Holy shit! Come on! Pills here. So I want to fucking Lewis the pills man won't pick up pills. Dude, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Just go over there and pick it up, please. Do it out of the goodness of your heart. I had to literally push him over there. You know what, one's enough, I'll just keep going. I don't care about Francis. If he doesn't want pills, that's his decision. Oh shit. Also, I just... fuck. Okay, that... I got like invincibility frames. So I didn't actually get hit by that damage, but you, show, you saw the stunned animation, awesome. We didn't even need a Molotov, that was an easy tank. Mainly because you got distracted by me and my invincibility frames, which is cool. Kind of lucky that that hunter got me the way it did. There's a boomer somewhere. Okay, okay good. Do you really, though? Do you really know how this movie ends? Okay, never mind. It's about to say. We might have a problem, but we don't. Uh, so I want to pick those up. That'd be good. Okay, uh... We may need to hold out for a second. Just a second, though. No, I don't know, though. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me sideways. Crawling out of woodwork, literally. Never mind, that was pretty easy. I swear to god, if you don't get through there, I might do some bad things. Awesome. Good. Where 
Where's our smoker? Okay, good Molotov will be nice for this next segment. I don't even know what I just did. Okay, someone's in the save room. Safe room. Why do I keep saying save room like I'm playing Resident Evil? Fuck the church, guys. Bitchiest character in the whole fucking series. Fucking hate it. This guy's nuttier than candy bar shit. Exactly. Like, bruh. Bruh, really? That's not good. I don't know if what I did was even good at all. And really, I don't care. Flaming Hunter. Oh, damn it. My Molotov disappeared. Oh, shit. That's not good. I wanted to keep that. Oh, it's over here for some reason. Um, okay. So yeah, the church guy actually turns into a zombie. And the special effect he, he, tur <coughs> he turns into is actually random. It's a boomer this time. Everyone get in, please. I don't want to deal with all these fucking zombies. Oh my god, this asshole. Get in the damn room, you fucking idiot. And then Lewis teleports out there as if, like, he just wanted to make this worse. Oh, fuck you. Get the fuck in here, idiot. There you go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I hate the AI just like, it tries to fuck with you this whole fucking time. It's so damn annoying. Alright, well, two more levels. The town and then... Uh... The finale. So I might... Yeah, I'll probably end after this is each campaign. Ooh, excuse me. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes. I mean, it's not like I have to be exactly on the dot with my time, but at the same time, I kind of do want to keep it at, like, strictly two hours. Because that gives me about two hours after the stream to do some other stuff. And I wanted to do some other stuff, actually. Believe it or not. I don't only do live streams, as, much, as hard as that may be to believe. Just planning on maybe getting some other shit done, too. Can we really? I mean, that's uh, that's the big, biggest question of the day. Okay. We are getting right into the action, boys. I don't really like this level because there's just a lot of like straight down like uh, spaces like this where you can easily get like what just happened right there you can get pulled by a smoker or some gay shit. Generally not fun. Sorry I was so hectic I had to shoot everything. At least I killed the specials without them hitting anyone that's all that matters. Shit. There's a horde coming. Just come in here, guys. Or just stand outside, see if that works. 
for the massive horde of zombies that just stand out in the middle of the street. Oh fuck. Watch where you're shooting. Oh shit, that's not good. Uh, we need to head through here. Yeah, we need to head through here. What the fuck? I hit you, bitch! That's some bullshit. Alright, well, this has been a little bad so far, but we'll keep going. This ain't the end. It ain't the end at all. There's still plenty of other places to do badly in. Fight. This way. Oh my god. Okay. I'll save that, hopefully. Actually, fuck it, we'll use it right now. Let's clear out some zombies. We won't really need to use that for later. We should be good. Okay, I take that all back. Actually, we have a Molotov. And he got hit, but the bad thing is there's a car too. And Bill's about to get fucked by his car if he isn't getting out of the way. And I got hit by the fire even though I was all the way up here. I love those hitboxes. Okay, good. He's, he's stuck. He has nowhere to go. That's perfect. If everyone stays together, it's kind of like... I mean, it's good because you have that concentration of firepower. And he has no choice but to try to chase you and probably die. But splitting everyone up can kind of cause the tank to not have a specific place to go. And that will just be pretty good, too. So basically just run like hell and you should be okay. Alright, we'll, we'll try to crawl out through the horde of zombies. Damn, there's so many zombies. Don't let the if a minigun overheats, you're basically done for. Uh, let me pick up another shotgun. Yeah, it's good. All right, let's go now. That should be it. This is way easier than I remember it being. Get on the fucking machine gun, bitch. Please. Where's the fucking smoker? You know what, we're just gonna fucking run for it now. So I don't know if we're supposed to stay over here for too long or not. Damn it, almost killed him. Asshole. Shit. Whoa, that was close. I wasn't sure where he went. There you go. I've been doing good with boomers today. Usually boomers will always fuck me up. And by that I mean by, by on me. They won't like kill me, fuck me up that kind of way because that'd be embarrassing. But their bio will always like do stupid shit to me. So I'm glad they've actually been playing nice tonight. 
I'm gonna give her something to cry about. What a badass. Okay, so this part you have to go up here, then cut across, and then jump. Not exactly jump, but like, just get across. There's a smoker, which isn't good. Where's the witch? Who the fuck knows? Really, at this point, I don't even care. <laughs> Dumbass. What the fuck? What are you going to gain from it, dude? Awesome. There you go. One more level. Yeah, I'll probably call it quits after this level. It's kind of a disappointment to me, and so I'm pretty sure it's everyone, but whatever. I'm used to this already. Being a disappointment. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not really surprised. Oh goodness, it's it's been a long night. I can say that for sure. Fuck it, let's go. Let's do this, Leroy. Enjoy cards. Remember when Kraken used to make freaking Left 4 Dead videos? Those are like the, the OG shit. Kraken too. I'm talking about the Kraken. He used to make Left 4 Dead videos. Like little montages. And back in like 2008, they were the shit. Like let me tell you, dude. You didn't get any better than those. There's a smoker. Oh my god. Really? You're just gonna fucking stand there while Zoe gets fucking ripped to shreds? Yo, shoutouts. I'll just take the pills myself. I'll say this finale can be a little bit harder to survive than the others. So we'll just keep that in mind as we trudge along here. Oh fuck you. Oh! I'm sorry, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, that was fucking perfect. I hear that noise, I'm like, wait, what fucking special infected is that? I literally right behind the door. Holy shit, that was awesome. I would ask someone to clip that, but uh I don't know, maybe I can clip it myself. I hear that noise, I'm like, wait, what fucking special infected is that? I literally right behind the door. Holy shit, that was awesome. I would ask someone to clip that, but uh Okay, well, I might have just made like 300 clips by accident, but uh, I have the one. Okay, yeah, that should be a good clip, okay. Sorry about that. Can I? Okay, I gotta pause the game because I'm just fucking up at this point. Okay. There you go. Yeah, once I have like a good computer, I'll be able to have like my stream probably opened like on the on my computer as well so I can just easily go over and clip shit instead of having to do it on my phone that was so funny though I can't believe the fucking RNG gods let that happen where?
Oh god, trying to man this leader. Head out right now, dude. Actually, I should have checked really quick. There's actually a glitch you can do. I believe I don't know if they patched it, but like you can get like a bunch of health, extra health, add it to 100 health for for some weird glitch with pills. Okay, does this gun go? Does it go over there? That sucks. It has decent reach though. I'll probably just end up using a pipe bomb. Oh, where's that boomer? Damn it, smoker, stop! I'm done with your shit, dude. It's a little quiet. Where's that smoker at though? Or that hunter? Outside. He's right there. He's missed. <laughs> Fucking idiot. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, and now it hits me. And now I'm dead. Oh my god, okay, so I get literally barfed on, like, right in my face, and it doesn't do anything. But then out of nowhere, it fucking just gets me. Like, actually gets me. Fuck you, asshole. I'm done. Shit, I wasn't sure if Tank was coming through there or not. Good to know that he absolutely isn't, and he just dodged a fucking fire somehow. He's a damn ninja. That's not good. He's probably gonna kill me. Okay, good, I can get away for a little bit with pills. This guy's fucking us up. Okay, good. Holy shit. Okay. Um, shotgun, there it is. Let's try to have this be a little bit better. Fuck you. Don't even. Where does Smoker go? Where's my AI? Okay. They aren't fucking protecting me. Which, believe it or not, is a big issue. In the game where you, like, kind of have to be protected a lot. Fuck off, dude. Just die. Such a bitch. Oh my god, now now the very last level is where all the boomers are coming in and fucking me up. Holy shit. I can't believe it. Thankfully there weren't really many things that could fuck me up right there anyway. 
Fuck you, finally. Fuck you. The fucking zombies, every time. Okay, this time we'll actually hit this guy. Hopefully where it hurts. Whoa! There's- oh Damn it! Son of a gun. I'll try another one. Maybe he'll run into it like a good boy? Or are you gonna be right there? Or are you gonna fucking kill me? Or you can climb the roof like an idiot? How the fuck did that hit me? On what fucking world? Okay, we're gonna have to get this going. Oh my god. I cannot believe Francis. Like, I really can't. On the boat, lads. Pog champ, pog champ. Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go, champ. You know what? You know what? Uh, should I do one more? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck all. We'll do one more fucking campaign. How's about it? Let's play Dead Air. Let's end off. Their flight just got delayed permanently. This campaign has some cool set pieces, but overall it just kind of feels a little it's not as fun to me as the others. Uh, shotgun, there it is. Alright, let's give it a go. Alright, good. I don't know why I tried. Excuse me. 
Oh, wow, that smoker. Oh, wow, what a dick. He did exactly what I said he smokers could possibly do. Or they, like, pull you off and then kind of just fuck you up. Thankfully, when you go off a ledge and you're incapacitated, it's not the same as, like, getting down, so you don't lose all your health or dumb, any dumb shit like that, but... Wow, I can't believe that actually happened. That was pretty funny. Killed it. Alright, first level's almost done. One of the shorter campaigns, I guess it's a good thing. Uh, there's no zombies haven't loaded down there yet. Oh my god, dude. Re I missed it? Oh, fuck off. Oh, maybe it'll be in a safe room. I don't know. Damn, that's some bullshit. Now we loaded in, boys. Go get him. There's a big horde that spawned in over here. That was a great spawn, actually. Because I didn't have to do anything. Just sort of spam shotgun. Doing pretty good, I guess. Oh, you fucking bitch, dude. Dude! Okay. That ending kind of pissed me off. I kept getting fucking bombarded by shit. Now, I, I didn't deserve to take the most damage in that level, but I did. Over some fucking gay shit. My least favorite part of the level is when you start and you have to clear out all the zombies. Or just entering any new area, I guess, clearing out all the s idle zombies and shit. It's a little bit annoying. But it must be done. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Ooh, that was a clean kill. Got him right around the corner. Shit, that's not good. Nice kill. I 
Okay. So we can just run past most of this. There's my second pistol I've been looking for. Shouldn't need the pipe bomb. We'll have a gas can <coughs> a gas can we can just use. I'm good. Fucking witch. God damn it. Alright, good, I'll get a lot of them. I'll get a lot of them too. Where's the witch? What the fuck? Why do you scream witch? Feels close. Where is she? What? I'm sorry, uh, what? Hold up. Oh, she's up there? Okay, that's, that's a new placement. If you couldn't tell, every time you played the campaigns, it's random. There's this hidden AI called the. <laughs> my, my words exactly. Uh, but yeah, there's a, a hidden AI called the director that'll uh, automatically select where all infected, both uh, special ones like tank and witch that don't appear very often, or even ones like the smoker and stuff. Choose where they spawn in the cam in the level. So every playthrough of the game is random. There are some scripted events and some scripted spawns, but for the most part, and like, I guess there might be like a certain, there's certain places that the Witcher tank can spawn maybe, but like, not like certain, like, not like very specific places, like certain general areas, but yeah, every time you play it's random, which is a really cool concept. Like right now there's a fucking tank, which I never would have guessed happened in like a million years. At least about to get fucking killed if I don't do something to help him out here. Also, one thing to note, in Left 4 Dead 1, the tank AI is more geared towards focusing on one person and then killing them. Uh, before, like, even if they're down, they'll keep smacking them until they die. But in Left 4 Dead 2, they're a little bit different. The tank AI is more about getting everyone down and then focusing on individual people. But that's not really... Uh, it's not really like. That doesn't really matter if he kills them, downs them all, and then focuses on individual people because obviously, if everyone's down, then it's game over anyway. <clears throat> and yes, there is a mode you can play as the zombies. It's pretty fun, but you have to have friends to do that, so it looks like that's a no go for me. <laughs> Alright, so where the fuck? Also, it's basically only good online. Playing it co-op, or like with only two people, it's not very good. It's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Don't shoot it. You can shoot it now, probably. Fuck it. It's just gonna get worse. See, if they could just like get in a corner or something, that'd be great. That's why playing uh, with <coughs> expert mode with AI is a very bad decision, because they'll always do dumb shit. Like the AI will not make it like a second, and it's just really frustrating. Alright, we gotta go through this area, and then we should be good. 
guess we would, got past a witch, which I'm fine with for sure. Fuck you. So I want to pick up those. There you go. Good job, Bill. Oh, fuck it. It couldn't hurt to do it at least once, right? Uh, what? Today I learned? Okay, uh, that's good. So the, the fucking car alarm won't even go off anyway. <laughs> that was- I wanted to do that, but I guess not. Not right now, at least. You're offered a distinctive scream. Alright. We're already about to be on level 3 and we're not even- we haven't even played this campaign for that long. I guess these levels are way shorter than I initially imagined. I, I remember them being way longer. Maybe this is where it starts getting a little bit longer, the levels. Because, like, there's a bit more events. Like, this one, there's a waiting event, and then there's just a long level after that. Long winded. Depends on. Obviously, it always depends on the spawns, really. There can be really good spawns on Special Infected, and you'll not have to take as long. Sometimes it'll be a little bit longer. It all depends on, like, how all the spawns uh, interact, and how the AI behaves, and how well how well you take the situation or you handle the situation so it can vary obviously if you're really good at this game you won't take long no matter what happens but if you're playing on normal at least expert can always be an oddball expert could probably boil down to hard rng at some points I'm not sure if when you're playing like uh, on a level and then you like die and have to restart. I don't know if the spawns stay the same. I completely forgot how that works. Okay, so what we want to do is shoot those over there because that will burn down that barricade. And for whatever reason, a bunch of zombies are going to get pissed that you did that. Oh, it's because there was an explosion. Okay, that makes sense. Hi, please burn that. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to do. What? I wasn't even aiming for him. What the hell? What the fuck do you mean? Oh, bitch, you thought. Fuck you. Hell yeah. Alright, sweet. Uh, that should be good. No, there's more. And they're all down there, would you know? Flaming Hunter. Okay. Okay, that's not good. I didn't imagine every fucking zombie in the video game would be over here. Let's go. So that went pretty well, I'd say. By my standards, that went pretty well. And my standards are pretty high. So, let's just keep that in mind. Um, damn it, I wish I would have used one of those back there. That would have been good to get another one right there. Oh, speaking of which. <laughs> I may need to use another one. Holy shit, he died in like two seconds. <laughs> what? Damn, dude. He must have gotten fucked up. Jesus Christ. The Molotov is even finished burning out. That's how fast he fucking died. Fuck me. I'll take it, dude. Holy shit. I'm still a little amazed over that. 
I want to hunt out that boomer first. That's a bad idea. Yeah, that is, that's exactly what gets you killed. Trying to run ahead before you clear out all the zombies, then they'll start circling around you. And on fucking expert, like, on expert, every hit from a normal zombie does 10 damage. So, yeah, imagine how much damage special effect to do, and, like, when you try to factor all those in, the way I'm playing right now will most likely get you killed. Now, the way I was playing earlier, like, at the very start of the stream, is probably how you want to play, like, all the time on expert. With multiple people, real people, so you can, like, coordinate your attacks. Like, call-outs and all that, it's really good. Okay, thank you. I didn't take, like, any damage, which is good. It doesn't really start doing damage to smokers until, like, the screen goes orange, kinda. Because that's when it starts, like, considering you've actually been taken by a smoker. Because half, half the time it might just be trying to find its way to a place where it can say you're getting strangled. Fuck you, bitch. Nice cut off. Alright, we're gonna try to run through here and hopefully nothing cucks us. I just hate the wide open areas like this in the game, so I'm glad we don't have to really deal with those. Let's go through here. Fuck it. Oh, four, three for three, but I'm dead! <laughs> Fuck it, we'll just try to get- we'll try to make it with pills. Using only pills. Damn no, that was- that's nice 3 for 3 on Witch Crowns. So nice, that's been- that's pretty impressive. I mean, it's not that impressive, but it's still pretty cool. I guess the best strat is to, uh, wait until they're standing up and then go for the shot. Because if you do it any other time, you might accidentally shoot. Uh, f uh that is super bad. That is borderline terrible. Alright, let's get another quick kill, boys. Let's get another quick kill! Fuck yeah! I'm not healing, bitch. I am gonna make it through this level without healing, dipshit. Although I will heal. Since we're right at the save for him, I'll, I'll heal. And then... Asshole! Now I really need to heal. Oh shit. Fucking bitch. I fucking hate that shit. How did he even fucking get off those slashes? I swear I shoved him. Apparently Francis was a real fucking tank killer, shit. But you're never gonna do better than me on witch hunting, let me tell ya. I get the shit done on that. Four damage? Damn, what a, what a beast. Okay. Well, actually, can I? Do those boys just go through? Maybe not. I want to clear out this little area down here before we actually take it on. I don't have to clear out all of it, but clearing out some of it just makes life a little bit easier. Okay, shout out to that zombie. Just drop down. A whole 30 feet just to come out right in front of my face and then run all the way to the stairs. Pistol only, bitch. You suck. It's a horde. Well, there's a horde? Fuck you. Eat my pipe bomb, so I can pick up another one. Oh, 
like clockwork. And so this one guy stays alive for that long. I don't know how. Actually. Actually. Where's that pipe bomb? Oh my god, just vanished? Are you fucking with me, dude? Is it back here, maybe? For whatever reason. No, it's not. I have no idea where it went. Oh, there it is. There's an event coming up I might want to keep that pipe bomb for. Is that pain pills? Hell yeah. Fuck. Okay, shout outs. Smoker. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it was. Where? Where the fuck? Wait, what? Where is this dude? There he is. Nice. Probably a bad call, but I'll just do it right now. That's not good. We're just gonna run past the switch. Oh, she's gonna get startled. That's not good. Oh, I knew it was a bad idea. Where's the boomer? Where's the boomer? <laughs> what the fuck? Whatever you say. Alright, come on. We getting a move on, boys. What the fuck is happening, dude? This isn't good. I'm gonna hope Lewis teleports and he does. Good. And he's dead. Not Lewis, but the, the tank. Someone took the other pills? Aww. No, they didn't. And Lewis. <laughs> Fuck you, Lewis. Asshole. Okay, that was a good tank encounter. Um, please keep that up. We shouldn't have any problems. Go on the right side, please. Good. If you go through that, you trigger an unnecessary uh, horde. Because the alarm goes off for the aquarians. It's annoying. Don't let it happen. How did that fucking touch me? Damn it. <laughs> That's never touched me before. I'm dead. No, I'm literally dead. Unbelievable. That's exactly why I fucking hate Left 4 Dead AI. It always will do shit like that. Waste some health p packs up the ass. I shouldn't have needed to waste that, but uh, yeah, fuck the AI. So damn stupid. Ah, <sighs> uh, 
That's gonna make the finale a little bit more challenging. The finale isn't too hard though, thankfully. At least not from what I remember. Alright, well, you guys have waited a lot, and that's really fucked me up, so please just come in. Alright, one more level. Let's go, champ. I'm really debating whether I should, uh, maybe complete this campaign or not, or complete this, the, all the campaigns or not, because it's very easily doable. Maybe I will. You know what? Let's fucking do it. I might do it. We'll see how I feel at the end of this finale, if I want to do it or not. I mean, it won't take me very long. I'd say we should go for it. It's not like I'm really losing much anyway. What have I got to lose? Yeah. Where's the radio? Okay. Oh, so my least favorite finale is probably Blood Harvest, so that's gonna be annoying. Not good. There's a boomer I need to take care of. Somewhere over here. There you go. Good shit. Quarter full that fast isn't too bad. Oh, that was bullshit. What a fucking pin. Like fucking. fucking Shaquille O'Neal from downtown. Ah, oh, it's about to be bad. Okay, never mind. That was good. He played nice. It's actually a really cool safe spot you can use. It's like all the way in over there. Or it's a there's the yeah, you can like glitch up somewhere. Just watch a speed run. It's a pretty cool speed run. There's actually like uh there's a GDQ where they did like a single segment Left 4 Dead speed run, which is really cool. Oh, Matt's get hit by this. Oh, dude, that pro dodge. He's about to be dead. What an idiot. Oh my god, I'm about to be dead, actually. If I keep that shit up. There you go. Easy. Easy money. I should have saved that. Nice. 
Oh, they're gonna hit me. Might as well just back off. Get up! Whoa! What a fucking graceful leap. Jesus Christ, he's trying. He's trying his best. Where'd I drop that? Damn. Damn it, it's not gonna hit him. I wish I could have hit him. That's not good, I need to get away from that. And he's dead! Hell yeah. We can get on the Just gotta hang out over here. I should have saved a pipe bomb, and then that would have been a little bit better. Or should I save my pipe bomb for now so zombies wouldn't fuck us up? They still shouldn't fuck us up. Yeah, we should be good. Just get on. Okay. That's dead air as far as I know. And with that, we should be done, except there's one more campaign we gotta take on. And I guess I'll do it since I have really nothing else to do. That took about 40 minutes. It should take 40 minutes as well. And I'll be off Arena. May take a little bit longer as this campaign's a little bit more annoying. Okay. Last one. And I'll be considered as a beating the game as it were. I mean, I guess it's beating the game cuz it's it's not it's obviously it's not all the DLC, but it's enough in my opinion because there's no other that's the base game. Everything else is just DLC. You could argue this is one of those games you can't really beat because it's kind of like a it's not really an online only, but it's kind of sh it's kind of shaped that way. But whatever. All right, no hope, no cure, no problem. Oh, it's such a badass poster, but the campaign itself is a little bit not so much. It's not one of my favorite campaigns. I'd say No Mercy is probably my favorite. I don't know. This one's like it's it's all the other campaigns have kind of like unique set pieces for each level, but this one is just like. It's literally sort of the same thing, it's just woods everywhere. I mean, not. I guess that's not technically true, there's a couple levels where it can be an exception. And you can kind of make the same case for every other campaign in a fucking game, but this one just seems a little bit more dull than the others. Also, there's some really annoying segments that I do not like playing. But yeah. That's that. I don't know, maybe since I'm playing a little bit better tonight than I have before, maybe this this will be a little bit better. Now, yeah, I hate this first level because you have a bunch of woods or forests around here, a bunch of shrubbery, so you can't really see the zombies, and a lot of the zombies will spawn on the sides, so you basically just have to get attacked like randomly from like really, literally nowhere. Like, see how they're just crawling out? So stupid. Like, at least don't spawn them like all in there. Like, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's also really annoying. So I have to play, like, extra cautiously. All the time. Good job, Lewis. Saw the Molotov. 
Nice. Goes that damage being taken. Damn. Close but no cigar, buddy. Oh, I hate this campaign so much. There'd be pills in here or some shit at least. Yeah. Nothing behind, okay. Nice. there apparently. Oh what a fucking crack shot I am. Boys, you, you guys want to back away from that shit, probably. That's just about to go boom boom. All right, get in, lads. Bill is the champ. He took like no damage. Oh my god! About to do some damage to him though. I bet I won't. First level one, okay. Sorry if like the video stretched to where like the text is a little weird to read. Apparently I suck at making overlays and sometimes that's an issue. But I, I kinda threw it together. I, I, I didn't really realize to maybe check that out for this game since it's a little bit different in resolution compared to the others. So yeah, sorry about that. Anyway. I missed the extra pistol, which sucks. This was like right at the end of level 2 and I just completely skimmed by it, so I'm gonna have to look out for that. Excuse me. That was a little weird, what just happened. Um, <laughs> Thank you. There's a pretty annoying part early on here, because like, it's a little hard to hold out against all the zombies that they throw at you. Let's go this way. Can we? Fuck you. Ha! 
<laughs> asshole. Hey, how they cough from smoke all the time? It gets a little annoying. Yeah, I guess most of the time the smokers are usually killed in places that you can't reach. So you, know, you don't really cough from it that much. But when they do get killed and you have to walk through the smoke, then they always cough and it's annoying. I mean, it's realistic, but is it is it fun to listen to? No, not really. That fucking zombie, what a champ. Oh, auto shoddy, hell yeah. Let me get that. That might make this a little bit easier. Uh, no pipe bombs, which sucks. I could go back, but I ain't about that life. Let's actually try to hold out this attack now. I'm going to try holding it out from right here. It's the only thing that kind of makes this level a little bit long is just the attack right here. And how it lasts a little bit. Other than that's a really short level. Oh my god. Dude, how'd that boomer not vomit on anyone? Dude, what a fucking G. Bless RNG, I guess. Someone kill him, though. He's about to vomit on someone if you let him say a Okay, that was my fault. I was saying that, and I'm the one that makes him explode on literally everyone. Guess that's alright, at least he didn't explode on one person, or else then every zombie would be focused on that one person. Alright, just easy like that. I usually try to run through that, and now I can see why that part would be annoying when you try to run through it. You just get your ass constantly beat up. But doing it that way is a little bit more manageable. There's a tank nearby. I don't know if you guys could hear that. There's also a hunter. Only thing is, I don't know where this tank is. It must be outside. You can hear him too. Maybe you guys can't hear him, but I can. You can hear like his growls. He growls like kind of like a gorilla, kind of when he's close by. I just don't know where he is. There you go. This should be an easy kill, or not, because he's gonna be a little bitch. Actually, it should be really easy. Oh, well, it was easy until he did that. <laughs> we just got him stuck. Hell yeah. That's an easy one. Fuck yes. Bless RNG that that tank got stuck in the loop. Oh, my god, that was so close. <laughs> I saw him just leap up. Like, you, there's that moment where you just kind of realize it's almost just all over. And yeah, let me just say that. Well, that, didn't, that didn't look too good for a second there. This game's so fun. I mean, it's not like the way I used to play. I used to play like every day. It kind of got boring, but when you like come back to it after a long time, it's pretty fun. We need to go up that it's definitely a game that's meant to be played co-op, though. Even just like one other person playing can make a big difference. Oh fuck off! Come on, lads, I don't have all day. Alright. That was only level 2? 
Okay, so we have the bridge, which is going to be a bit of a level. Then there's this one shitty level, and then there's the finale. That one shitty level, it's just long. There's not even any like, events that happen in it, I don't believe. It's just a long level in general. And then this one, or the bridge, yeah, there's this one event that I don't like. It's just kind of drawn out. It's annoying to activate the area you, and that it takes place in is annoying. Everything about it's annoying, basically. I have not found another pistol yet. That's a little bad. It's time I maybe look in the safe room for once in my life. And it's not in here. Okay, well, that's not good. We need to find this extra pistol. That'll help me out a lot. And we'll start by checking these side rooms. There's a Molotov, which is good. I fucking love Lewis. He's a dipshit. He's kind of a fucking, like, professional idiot, but he's also awesome. Professional idiot. I'm sorry, but where the fuck was that? Oh wow, this game fucking hates me. <laughs> wow, that went from bad to worse. Where was that hunter? Was he around that same corner that the smoker was? I'm not sure, dude. It's fucking weird as hell. There's a boomer. I don't want this boomer to hit anyone. But I can't see where he is. Okay, well I guess he's nowhere near here for now. Oh, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Imagine how it looks like I just walk right into a fucking zombie. That's gotta be some shit. Okay. That's not good. Oh god, is there me a witch in here? Witch! That's not good. Alright, good, so that fucking propane tank strat cost me a little bit of health because the smoker, but at the same time, <coughs> sorry, at the same time, it looked like it did some a, a number on that witch, which is good. So I intended for it to do. Uh, there's no fucking extra thing, though, which is pissing me off at this point. Because now we're at this part, and I'm gonna need an extra pistol, let me tell you. This part you like knock down a bridge and it lets you get up. You have to go all the way to the end here and activate a train car. And then you have to like sort of hold out until the said train car arrives. Also, I mentioned there's a shit ton of zombies you gotta clear out before that even happens because it's such a wide open dumb area. Shit. And then there's this guy. Should be easy to kill. Should be low yet. He's not dead. He's still alive and fucking everything up. Now he's dead. But Francis took a number. And he's healing now.
I bet we could. There's some pills in here. Hopefully someone takes those. Oh, there you go. Extra pistol. Sweet. Alright, so we're gonna go all the way down here. Hit the bridge with a decoupled train car. Oh, there's a shit ton of zombies over here first. Alright, let's get this one started. It's not going to be very pretty. Go ahead and take more pain pills. This Molotov would have been useful. If I would have known about its existence beforehand. Boomer? Boomer where? Okay. Come on AI, please stick up with me. That's super bad. Wow! Okay, well that was fucking stupid. From fucking downtown, he hooks me into like next year. Shit, I said hooks me like I'm playing against a roadhog. Alright. Uh, okay. Okay. And okay. Damn it! Someone had to clip him in. Good news is, two more levels. Bad news is, I hate these next two levels. <laughs> oh, shit. back up again and I'll get hit 30 times fuck yeah Reloading. Crescendo event? Are you serious? Not a crescendo event. Fucking event though. Are you serious? I'm just gonna try to not jump. Okay. I want to just go up here, but I guess that wasn't happening. Alright. 
Guess we just gotta go this way. Follow the train tracks. Oh, come on. Yes. Sweet. Didn't even need to waste that Molotov. We in there, boys. We in there. Oh, yes. The fucking quick kill. And I killed it too in the process. Oh, fuck you. Little bitch. Pills. I'll definitely take those. Damn it, really? The boomer got him? That was a terrible idea. Actually, maybe not. Actually, yeah, probably. Excuse me. Another trap down there for a little bit. Whatever. I need to look for another throwable. I like to have another one stockpiled, even if it's just a pipe bomb. Of course. Don't give me shit. Love you, game. Okay. Well, my bunny hopping script. Shit. I was hoping they wouldn't do that, but they did. They literally did all the things you should not do in a video game. Like, what fucking assholes. Alright, we'll have to wait for Francis to heal next. That was a pretty short level. Sadly, this is one of my least favorite finales because it's one of the most more annoying ones to complete. There's a lot that can go wrong, and yeah, it's not very fun. <clears throat> It's actually when the rescue vehicle comes along, because it's one of the harder vehicles I find to actually, like, escape in. As in, like, get into it and, like, get everyone in there. Bill, my boy, it took zero damage. Let's go, champ. Wow, how the hell do you do that? Some of the AI, I swear, are cheaters. Alright, Francis is gonna heal. You know what? I'll heal too. Just because I can. And never mind. No, because I'll still have one. His bill won't heal. Francis should take another fucking health pack. There you go. First, let's take care of all these guys that we can. Gas can. Gas, gas, gas. I wanna step on the gas. Fuck you. Damn it, I didn't get the throw. Rip me, dude, because there's also a fucking tank. Oh, dude, the get my dick fuck stimulus package.
That's really bad. Because you know what's going to happen? Bill's about to die. Actually, I'm just kidding. That was just a joke. Just a joke. <laughs> that was close, though. Also, Bill has to fucking heal, which is bad. Already wasting a health kit before we even get there. There's also this really annoying uh, event or like horde of attack in this in this field. That's another reason why I hate this part so much. Because this field itself is already hard as fuck to navigate. And then you have the fact that it's just a fucking stupid thing. So watch. When you're in here randomly, some crows will fly away. And it'll spark. And a, a horde to come in. Alright, I found my way through. I just need to get out of the fucking cornfield is the thing. And I'm already getting fucked up. Where's that smoker? Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Well, I'm just gonna run straight to the farmhouse then. Remember that being way more annoying. I will actually prepare myself really quick by checking where items are. There's pills in there. Someone will probably take as we go along. Uh, is there any throw? I need to know where the throwables are and what the throwables are. Shut up. Where are my fucking throwables? Okay, I'm not. I'm finna. I'm not finna do this shit. There's pills, which is cool. Pills everywhere, but no fucking throwables. What the fuck is going on with that? Maybe I'm just missing them? Alright, hold on. Let me check the farmhouse itself over here. Or not the farmhouse, but the barn. That was the farmhouse we were just at. Shut up, bitch. Dude, I'm literally gonna tell you. Fuck what you heard. There's a bunch of Molotovs. Uh, maybe when the tanks come in, we'll actually uh, run all the way out there. And then pick up Molotovs and stuff, and we'll use one on the final uh, part. Alright, let's summon the rescue now. Let's be able to hear this shit over and over. Alright, upstairs. That's pretty much one of the best places to go for this one. I guess you could also go to the top of the b barn, <coughs> the barn, that might be even better. But I usually do pretty well here, so... Alright, I'm gonna go all out guns blazing. Not even gonna use that gay pistol shit, we're just gonna go straight for the money. Straight for the goods. Oh shit, they're gonna bust down that door faster than my nut. Who else close? Okay, nice. Okay. Let's practice just for later when we do this again. Run all the way out here. Good place to gauge where the tank is as well, which he's right there. He's gonna hit me with that rock. What a fucking beast. And he's gonna fucking miss the flames too. I'm gonna need to use this to get away from him. Also, he's he, he can easily be killed out there. Okay, well. 
Uh, we'll wait. Like I said, we'll get it when we when the tank spawns. I don't need to heal, dude. I'm a fucking beast. But I will heal just for safety. For the final part. This is the final countdown. Alright, let's go. Back upstairs. And they're also going to stay down there. So I guess that's where we're going. I still like the setting. I mean, like, it's a cool setting, I mean, but... Like, I still like fighting in the farmhouse. It's really cramped and shit. Which, like I said, is the point, but it's just... It's not very fun. I feel like I could mildly take on advanced mode by myself at this point. If I just play like what I used to play like really carefully and stuff, I could probably do it. The finales might be a little bit tough, but other than that, it should be alright. Oh, that's some bullshit. I'm gonna die. Look at that, they won't fucking help me is the pro- They're dancing on me. God forbid you actually help the fucking girl. Now just dance on her. Okay. Come on, please. Thank you. <laughs> I was hoping that would happen. I right, gotta go over here. This is where the thing spawns. Alright, I guess I won't need to go get the Molotovs. Fucking hell! Please! Oh my god, no way! Yo, I'm done. I cannot believe this. Look what's about to happen. They're not gonna help me up in time. I'm just running straight for it. Fuck what you heard. Wow. Well, as it ends, uh, everyone gets fucking raped. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and Zoe's the only one that escapes. You know, I don't even fucking care. I really don't fucking care. That's gonna end it. Wow. Was well, sad way for it to end. At least I, I was, I thought I was gonna die personally, because they weren't fucking. They were getting stuck over there in the f house or some dumb shit. Oh, okay. Well, in memory of Francis Lewis and Bill Rip, all of them dudes. And that's gonna do it for this edition of the Halathon. Uh, pretty fun stream. I enjoyed it. I wish more people were here to see it because it was there was a lot of clipboardy moments. But that being said. Excuse me. That'll do it for me. Uh, tomorrow, I'm doing one of my most hyped games for the stream. There's actually been a lot of games. The next three games are like my most hyped ones for the whole marathon. And tomorrow, we're doing Resident Evil 4, one of my favorite Resident Evil games. So that'll be a really funny one. I'll try to finish that game. It'll be a long stream, but a fun one. Hopefully, it depends on how many people show up and make it fun. But that being said, uh, that's going to be it for me. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll be it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, have a good night, and take care.